Hi guys, today is our third class of graphic designing course and today's class is going to be very informative and interesting because in this class we will learn the most important element of graphic designing. I hope you are trying to understand this course well and make notes. In today's class we will learn the rest elements of graphic designing. In the previous class we had learned the first four elements whereas in today's class we will learn color space value and texture so let's start friends the first and most important element of graphic designing which we are going to discuss in this class is color friends color is one of the most important and useful element of graphic designing color is basically sensation of light here you can see color wheel which was invented by Isaac Newton in 1706 and interestingly you can see here that there are no black white and gray colors this is because black white and gray are called neutral colors or earth tones they are not included in color wheel as invented by Isaac Newton so let's discuss this color wheel in detail Color wheel is basically divided into three categories primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. And interestingly, the color wheel suggested that all the colors are made by the combination of primary colors, and primary colors are basically red, yellow, and blue. Due to mixture of these primary colors, we get all the remaining colors. Here you can see red color, yellow, and blue. So all the colors which we can see are basically due to the mixture are made by the combination of these primary colors which are red, yellow and blue as suggested by color wheel. Second one is secondary colors. As I have told you that all the colors are made by the combination of primary colors. Secondary colors are those colors which are formed by the combination of any two primary colors. Secondary colors are green, purple and orange. If we mix red and yellow, the orange color is obtained. Similarly, if we mix blue and yellow, green color is obtained. And when we mix red and blue, purple color is obtained. So secondary colors are formed by the combination of any two primary colors. Next one is tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are basically those colors which are formed by the combination of primary and secondary colors. First, we have discussed that uh, secondary colors are obtained by the combination of any two primary colors and now tertiary colors are those colors which are obtained by the combination of primary and secondary colors. For example, when we mix yellow which is primary color and uh, orange which is secondary color tertiary color is obtained which is yellow orange similarly if we mix red and orange red orange color is obtained and uh, here you can see a table of tertiary colors so these are the tertiary colors which are obtained by the combination of primary and secondary colors these are the three categories of color wheel and if we discuss about the types of colors so there are basically two types of colors warm colors and cool colors First of all warm colors as uh, the name shows warm heat so warm colors are those which have warm origin such as fire sunlight etc and warm colors are uh, red yellow and orange if we cut color wheel into two portions the left sided portion of color wheel is consists of uh, warm origin and uh, this is called warm colors for example here you can see red violet which is tertiary color is a warm color red which is a primary color is a warm color red orange which is tertiary color is again warm orange which is secondary is warm color yellow orange which is tertiary the warm color is yellow primary which is a uh, uh, primary color is also belongs to the warm color origin or warm color type so the blue colors or cool colors are those uh, which are uh, basically have cool origin for example those colors uh, which uh, represent uh, the coolest origin such as leaves water etc and uh, cool colors are blue green and purple and the right side of the color wheel is uh, basically consists of uh, cool colors 
uh, violet which is secondary color is a cool color blue violet which is tertiary color is also a cool color similarly blue which is a primary color is a cool color and here you can see a complete chart of uh, colors which are belonging to warm origin or cool origin next this is one of the most important slide of uh, this class specifically this is basically color expressions and this suggested that which color is used for which purpose for example red color and as i have told you previously that red color belongs to warm origin so if you want to show passion energy and danger in your graphic design for example if you want to make a logo for a client which have gym and as you uh, as you know that gym basically uh, belongs to passion energy so you have to use red color similarly a blue color is used to show relaxation and calmness in your design so friends use these colors with respect to their color expressions similarly yellow color is used to show happiness and friendship for example if you are designing poster for uh, uh, friends day then you have to use yellow color mostly in your design orange color is basically used for youth and energy and uh, if you are making or if you are designing logo related to agriculture related to nature then you have to use green color similarly purple color have a loyalty expression and uh, at the end pink color for women and blue color for gents is recommended or preferred by the designers for example in the breast cancer day which are basically for women you can see pink color is mostly used on that day because pink color is uh, have uh, expression for women and it is mostly used for women so this is one of the most important slide of this class uh, which shows color expression and which shows that which color you have to use for a specific purpose so this is all about color the most important element of design next element of design is space again space is also one of the most important and uh, interesting element of design space is an empty or open area between around above below or within objects uh, space have a close relationship with shapes and uh, here the one tip is do not include uh, more shapes or elements in design do not make your design compact do not make your design compact with a lot of shapes or a lot of elements use simple one or two shape as uh, with respect to your design and uh, your design should have a specific space uh, it is recommended that you, you should use this element space uh, and your uh, space is basically positive or negative i will uh, tell you in detail that what is positive or negative space and again space may be 2d or 3d two dimensional or three dimensional so what is positive space and negative space so basically positive space uh, refers to areas where the subject is positioned and negative space is the area surrounding the subject um, if uh, i have told you or if i tell you space in simple words positive space is the main focus area while negative space is the background for example in this picture you can say uh, this these clouds are uh, basically positive space and uh, sky is the negative space because it is a background while our main focus area in this picture is are uh, is cloud okay friends uh, next here you can see that uh, this is the logo of fedex company which is basically a transportation company and it transport goods from one portion of the from one part of the world to the another and here you can see f e d e x this is our main focus area and this is called positive space while here between e and dex you can see a negative space which is an arrowhead and i have told you previously that uh, what is the function of line and uh, arrowhead so line and arrowhead basically used for directional purposes and uh, here you can see that this uh, logo uh, the logo which is designed by designers used this negative space to show that this company is related to or transporting goods from one place of the world to another 
moreover here you can see different portraits uh, if you see that if you uh, look that there are two faces then these two faces are basically positive space and here the white area which is a background in this portrait specifically it is a negative space and if uh, you can say here it is a uh, black color and it is uh, you uh, see that uh, this is a vase then these white faces are basically negative space and black is positive space so friends this is the element of uh, first design which is space and it is a useful element and you have to use space for making your designs interesting next element of design is value value is basically lightness or darkness of any object any shape any area or any color value may be related to objects area shape or any color value provides a depth dimension interest and drama in our design image and photography uh, you are well aware of uh, highlights which is basically brightness and midtones and shadows here is a value scale or value uh, scale which you can see that 1 2 3 is are basically highlights 4 5 6 uh, midtones 7 8 or 9 shadows in simple words the light area or a lightness is called highlights while darkness is called shadow and the area between highlights and shadows is called midtone. So this is the element of design value. The next element of design is texture. Texture is basically feel, appearance or consistency of a surface or a substance. And texture may be rough, smooth or silky. And uh, moreover, texture may be organic or inorganic. Uh, so this, these are the two important textures, organic texture and inorganic texture. Organic texture, for example, if you uh, rub your hand on the sand, you feel, you feel a surface, a rough surface. And uh, the feel of a sand or feel of a, um, small rocks is basically organic texture. While uh, inorganic texture, if you rub your hand on a marble or marble, or any synthetic uh, man-made thing so it is a uh, inorganic texture here you can see two types of textures uh, pattern texture and image textures pattern texture is basically when shapes are uh, uh, arranged or repeated in a specific sequence and uh, pattern texture is uh, useful in clothes shoes and gifts packaging you can see a, a lot of bed sheets have uh, this type of texture and moreover uh, gift packaging a sheet of gift packaging have uh, a lot of pattern and uh, the texture which you see on that gift packaging is basically a pattern texture then next one is image texture image textures may be environmental biological or man-made uh, for designing backgrounds of posters brochures web designing texture is a solution background texture texture you can use pattern texture you can use image texture for designing posters and brochures so friends this is all about the elements of design i hope that you understand these elements well if you have any question please ask in the comment thank you so much for watching this video jazakallah